So here's the plan of the job uh, that I'm excavating for today. Uh, so we've got a curb line that runs around the outside of the site uh, and then we've got a new building floor level uh, pad or a new building floor pad in the in the middle of the site there so that's going to be concrete. I've got a benchmark uh, on the curb there with an elevation there on the plan RL 101.535 and we've got a finished floor uh, height finished top of concrete RL 101.720 and over here we've got the cross section so I actually need to excavate um, the site to a flat pad underneath the sand there uh, so my finished uh, floor level of the concrete is 101.720 top of concrete I've got 200 mils of concrete you know 50 millimeters of sand um, and so I need to come down uh, 0.2 and another 0.05 um, below that finished um, floor level on the top of the concrete there to excavate to the blue line um, today nice flat um, under the sand. So back in the CAT 308 uh, and going to show how to build the uh, the floor pad foundation uh, over in that area of site. Uh, this time we're benching on the curb again uh, but we're using GPS this time. So here in Earthworks we're running GPS rather than laser. Uh, in the other video we used laser, this time we're showing how to do the same workflow with dual GNSS. Uh, you can also do it with single GNSS if you set up that way as well. So out here um, we've got our GPS receivers in here this time, so we'll be using those. Uh, no need to use the laser or the laser catcher if you've got your GPS. So uh, in the job setup we've got our new pad project. Uh, we are depth and slope mode. So no design, no problem. Uh, we can sort this out. As you saw on the whiteboard, it's we've just got a, a plan with a couple of elevations. So when we arrive in the work screen here, first thing it's asking us to do is bench the heading. So for what we're doing, that's not critical, but it is a step we need to complete. Uh, it's a step that you're required to do when you're using GPS um, and we'll get into the reasons why in another video but just briefly um, it's it, it's to do with applying target slopes we're not using target slopes up here we're just for our floor pad we're just working um, to level and, and it's those elevations from the plan um, but it is a step that is required like say so we'll go into the reasons for that so you can understand it in another video um, but in this case, for what we're doing today, just building a level, um, we can just bench heading. So we press that. Now it is important, this, this button up here, this is the slew boom position, right? So this is a slew boom machine, and you can see that to reach around to the curb, the boom is currently slewed. And I, it is slewed all the way to the left. So I need to set this one to the left position. Why is that important? So you can see down here the elevation and the elevation that's calculated at, at the focus tip, the bucket tip there, is different um, for each set boom position. See that elevation is just changing, right? So when I'm benching and I wanna transfer an accurate elevation on a slew boom machine, before I bench the elevation, I need to make sure I've got the right position selected. So it's hard left, so I select hard left on the button there, and then we're just going to get a good accurate bench. So I've come into bench elevation. We want to turn reference elevation bench on because that allows us to enter our target elevation. So we can click in here. It's already set to the right one, um, 101.535, because I entered it before. Um, but you just touch on that and you can enter it. Right, so 101.535, that's the benchmark elevation from the plan. So with our correct boom slew position and our correct left focus here, so the left side of the bucket on the bench point on the curb, we're ready to bench. There we go, successfully benched. The next step is to set our target elevation, right? For what we're actually working to. So we come in here 
and it defaults here. This is our target elevation. So think of this elevation field as what you want to build, the elevation that's on the on the plan that you've got. So it defaults to what we just benched at. So we need to enter in our top of concrete, right, for the floor pad. So 101.720, that's our top of concrete. So accept that. And then here's the beauty of reference elevation bench, right? So we, um, in the plan, uh, we showed the cross section and uh, there's actually some depths so that mental math to go down to what we actually need to build, which is the underside of the sand, uh, we can get them at the system to do that for us, right? So we put an additional offset in now to come down the depth of the concrete and the depth of the uh, sand, and that's the level that we want to build to. So we can put in 0.25, which is 200 millimetres of concrete, 50 millimetres of sand, and we can put that in as a negative, right? And that's going to do the mental math for us. So uh, the green line here uh, is showing what we're actually going to build. So there's that math done for us. So the height of the benchmark there um, is 101.535. We've then entered our target elevation top of concrete, which is 101.720. And that's the other dashed line there. And then we have entered our thickness that we want to come down for the concrete and the sand so minus 250 mil and that's the green line there now okay the heights are all quite close so that that image is kind of um, squashed together a little bit but now we're set up ready to go right and the beauty with GPS is that I can just walk my way over there now and I'm ready to go I don't have to catch the laser um, the system knows where I am because of the GPS so I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll just walk over there and we'll get going. So here we are. Uh, we're over in the area of the floor pad. That was where we were. Over on the curb over there when we benched. So we're now out where the floor pad is on the plan. And we're ready to get working. Now, what we do need to do now is I've straightened my boom up. So I need to select the right swing boom position and just have a look at the cut fills and how they just adjust a little bit. Um, just pointing out that getting that correct boom position is important. So they've just they've adjusted a little bit. Um, and so I need to get that right uh, and select the right position before I dig, just to make sure that I'm getting the right guidance. So now with that done, um, you can see now if I just straighten that up a wee bit there we go and there's my on grade and I'm ready to start prepping that area and if I look there it's pretty close but I do need to work a bit of material around um, kind of in the air there but I've got my guidance and I'm ready to go cheers <laughs>